putting well i am dr melin so since the announcement of uh, next exam lot of students are uh, getting to prepare for the new pattern of exam and uh, one question that i get uh, most often in the messages and mails about solving the qbank because there are so many questions around it that what should be the ideal approach because uh, we have notes we have custom modules we have to do pyqs we have to do image based questions so somewhere there is always a confusion that when and how to start the qbank so i am just making this brief video to sensitize you guys about the qbank and uh, one uh, recommendation i would like to give you guys so when to start so ideal way if you are indian medical graduate after i will recommend that after second professional year of mbbs you should start uh, solving your qbanks the reason is your foundation will be there your first uh, and second prop subjects will be finished and that actually uh, forms the foundation of your uh, you know preparation and even uh, for the clinical questions even for the questions from medicine surgery and uh, other uh, the clinical uh, based subjects it's very important to have a good foundation and good knowledge of basic sciences if you are a foreign medical graduate who have a different kind of curriculum so after third year of mbbs so once you are done with your again basic sciences and uh, your clinical postings will start from fourth year so it's easy for you to you know have a this base and based on that it will be easy for you to uh, start a q bank if you start early the what i uh, feel that because of lack of uh, knowledge of the basic sciences sometimes it will be frustrating because you will not be getting any answers correct so the percentage of getting correct answer will be less and that will actually cause some of the frustration and low confidence so as i said that the strong foundation will yield better results now why q bank like what is the advantage of solving the q bank so what it helps in development of critical thinking no matter how many theory you read no matter how many books you read unless and until you solve questions your brain will not be wired to you know assess certain scenarios and to solve certain scenarios or problems that are given in the form of mcqs also it helps in exam day management like when you appear for the exams so lot of students have the issue with the time management that how many how much time should be allotted to a particular question so once you have a practice then that will be useful also it helps in assessment or preparation because a lot of students they feel that whether whatever i am remembering reading whether i'll be able to remember it or not or uh, what will be like active recall you know it helps in active recall whatever you have read if you are able to recall it while solving your qbank it helps to boost your confidence and also to understand the pattern of uh, questions you know like few years back the pattern of questions was completely different now we have more of a image and clinical scenario based questions so when you solve a qbank it actually helps you to understand uh, that pattern now which qbank now a lot of students have this question in their mind that which qbank i should go for because i will say you should go for the qbank which has a plethora of questions which have a genuine and crisp explanation so it's the explanation shouldn't be very lengthy that you know that you are bored at the end of it it should be genuine that it should be pertaining to the question that is given also there should be a reference uh, a genuine source that where this uh, you know explanation has been taken and as owing to the new pattern of uh, exam it should have a good number of clinical questions uh, as well and also image based questions so i have one recommendation i was uh, which i have also uh, been active user uh, of in a uh, few uh, i mean the last few years so one is the preplat has recently launched their qbank which is a next edition so what it has to offer is a, there are plethora of images and clinical based questions so you will get lot of image and clinical based questions this is also active guidance with correct and incorrect so what what happens is sometimes you know a lot of students have this habit that whenever they will see the question they will just read the uh, answer and they will move forward but see you should know what is uh, the you know explanation behind the incorrect answer like why this answer is incorrect and there should be elaborated discussion about it because when you go and you know in your exam you will not get the similar question but once you read the explanation you will get a question out, around it so whenever you solve a q bank it is very important that you should understand the explanation also whenever a question is framed i always emphasize you know the importance of previous year questions so knowing the learning objective at the end of question is very important and that this that is something that uh, this q bank offers this learning objective will help you understanding what are the current topics and what kind of questions will be asked from that uh, topic also uh, like as i have said that will if you start early you'll get the benefit so once you have start solving your q bank in your uh, under graduation so when, whenever we have this explanation tag to a video because lot of times especially subject like physiology ophthalmology 
or let's say surgery or obs gyni some uh, topics are very new some term terminologies are very new and it's very difficult to understand only through the explanations so it's always handy if we have a video or uh, you know that is tagged with the question so if you're not satisfied with the explanation or you are not you feel that you know you still need to know more about it you can go and watch that video and i think it will be very helpful for you so i just want to give you guys the glimpse of uh, this q bank so like for example we have this question and again this is a image plus cl clinical based questions sometimes you will be getting just the clinical scenario like a 3 year old boy who are having congenital at atrial septal defect there are multiple developmental defects some sometimes they will also elaborate what are these multiple developmental defects sometimes they will just give the image and you will have to get the answer now once you reach to the answer it's not you know it's very important in lot of students what they do they just read the answer and they skip this part and uh, i have also received lot of queries that you know reading this question so what you get in this uh, next edition of uh, qbank that you get this not only this explanation but also image based uh, you know uh, information that is available the visual memory is also one of the best uh, memory and that will help you in your uh, real exam so once you know you know sometimes we know you know there is a epicanthial fold there is a semen crease and you know we talk about uh, these brush field spots but sometimes we do not know what exactly it is but theoretically we are sound but we are not aware if if the same question is asked image wise then sometimes we uh, fail to identify it so if you are aware of what how exactly it looks like because you know uh, as i said that the new era of students the new era of you know exams will need new kind of preparation earlier just knowing the down syndrome and the chromosomal and uh, you know anomaly was enough but now we should know even how does it looks like so this added advantage you will get in uh, trend of this kind of qbank also when we talk about the other option it's not enough to just know what is correct you should know what other options also look like so i am not saying that you have to know it in depth but at least you should have a basic idea of you know uh, at least few points about the other options uh, as well now as i have said about the learning objective so whenever we know that we have a question from down syndrome so it's also examiner's favorite so the question bank which uh, this preparator have given us the learning objectives at the end of this question so this gives you a brief re uh, view of what exactly you know uh, this question is about so when they ask about uh, down syndrome sometimes they'll ask about the chromosomal basis so we should know that what are the different types like what is uh, meiotic non disjunction what is translocation what is mosaicism and you you know a question might be asked about the mosaicism and uh, you know you will get uh, you will understand this pattern here now uh, whenever we have a treasures now it's you know we have uh, uh, 19 subjects so it's very difficult to understand every, you know to remember each and everything so what we used to do we used to make a lot of mnemonics you know and it's sometimes it will be difficult to remember all of these but once you have a mnemonics it's easy for you to remember this so like features of uh, uh, down syndrome they have given in the form of mnemonics so if you are able to remember this you will be able to answer your uh, question well in your uh, exam now lastly one very uh, in impressive feature of uh, this prep ladder uh, next edition that they have a uh, two types of uh, q bank mode one is a exam mode and one is a guide mode now some students they want you know once your preparation is done now they just want to you know uh, uh, give exam and at the end at the end of uh, exam they want to see the explanations now there are some students who you know after attempting a question they are very curious to know if the question you know if they are not able to comprehend it they are like you know after this question i want to know the explanations and i want to get the guidance so we have these two modes for them so exam mode is solution and references will appear at the end of the q bank so once you are done with your q bank all the explanations and the answers will appear but if you are someone looking for explanation at the end of each question like if you are done with one question and now you want that i want to know the explanation and i want to know the logic behind this question then you should go for the guide mode and this is something that you know will help you uh, because this is for your comfort and this is for Uh, you know to be more with uh, you know to, to be more compliant with your needs this qbank next edition is available on their new light pack there you will get trained from their next edition dream team owing to its student friendly and crisp uh, content i strongly recommend it if you pre book it today you will definitely get great offers so there are only around 2000 slots left for early bird offer so here i am mentioning link in the description and go and grab this opportunity so guys i wish you all the very best and take care